everyone. Happy Saturday. So I thought I'd be a good wifey and make Daryl some brunch today. So we're going to have, I'm actually making them pancakes, bacon, and eggs. So I'm just using the quick stuff. I love Krusty's buttermilk pancake mix. I just love Krusty's. The pancakes are so light and fluffy, especially compared to like a Bisquick. And then I'm gonna make him some scrambled eggs. He likes cheese on them. And I'm also using the fully cooked bacon, Oscar Mayer, which I will put on this plate. And it comes in a pack like this. And let's see. I'm not going to have anything, so I'm just going to make enough batter for the pancakes for Daryl. And then if I have any leftover, I can put them in the freezer. And yeah, let's get started. I like using this Krusty's or any, well, this quick you have to use milk. So I like Krusty's also because you can just use water. And I just don't measure, I just pour it in like that. I'm gonna make extra to put in the freezer, I guess. and then you just stir it. I'm just melting a little bit of butter in my pans. Because you know pancakes, sometimes they like to stick. And then I'm just using this little plate to put the pancakes on as they come off. And I wore my Christmas pajamas just for you guys today. How many pancakes do you want? Okay. The pressure's on. I want my pancakes to look really nice for you, but you know the first ones always turn out a little pale. Mm. 
Not too bad. Here's his cheesy eggs. Just letting the cheese melt inside a little bit. And looks like the first batch turned out better than the second. As far as perfection goes. And I've turned off all the burners. Babe, are you sure you want three? Because they're this big. Two it is. These are so fluffy and bouncy. Just like me. And this is actually sugar-free syrup. It's really good, I got it at Walmart. I've had different kinds or brands and they're all good. Okay, breakfast for a king. We got pancakes and bacon and eggs with cheese. All right, I can't help myself, I'm gonna have these two little pancakes. I had a cookie earlier, so this will be fine, right? I love my pancakes swimming in butter and syrup. Like you don't even know. I love pancakes so much. I never make them though. Mm. So light and fluffy, I can't stand it. How's your breakfast, babe? Good. I went to all this work to make them pretty and I put the wrong side down for you. There you go. You just lick in a little syrup and butter residue.
I'm just gonna let the other pan soak for a bit. The eggs got really stuck on, so. All right, well, wouldn't you know, it's dinner time already. So we're gonna have chicken stir fry tonight. So I'm gonna cut up some chicken breasts here and then I'm gonna boil these ramen noodles like usual. Um, just the noodles, I'm not gonna use the packet. And then I'm gonna cut up some zucchini and onion and it's all gonna go in a pan and it's all gonna be real good. And I just put a little bit of vegetable oil in here and I didn't mean for the pan to be so hot because I didn't want all the spatter, but I forgot. I got busy. your seasoning, garlic powder. So I don't want to use too much salt because the soy sauce is going to have plenty. So just a little bit of seasoning. the carrots in. If I have cabbage, I'll throw that in. Broccoli. But today we just have zucchini and onions. Don't want to overcook your noodles, which I'm sure I did. And I just have some low sodium soy sauce. Side. 
And then we're finished. You just kind of cook this, the vegetables and chicken till it's all done and then you throw them in your noodles, let them fry for a bit, and then you're done. And your house will smell like stir fry for three days, I promise. Dinner is served. <laughs>